Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Chaley Ridge of Ridge Lending Group. The amazing women of REN, Deb Razo and Jen Molinato, have asked that I record a short video on a topic of my choice to help educate the women of REN. Uh, so there's a lot of things that I could speak about, but I've decided on one I believe to be the most useful for the residential real estate investor. Um, and that's about forbearance. I uh, hope you guys won't mind, but I've written down my thoughts so that I don't miss any important details. So you'll notice I am reading off of my own personal teleprompter. Um, I've got three minutes. I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can. So forgive me if I'm talking fast. No doubt you've seen or read or heard of the government's plan to help struggling homeowners with their mortgage payments. But there's a ton of bad information out there that, if not clarified, could be extremely harmful for the individuals that elect to participate. So first, let's be clear on what forbearance means. This is not a forgiveness of debt, okay, but rather a deferment of payment. Next, let me explain one of the crucial impacts this will have on anyone that goes into forbearance. Most of the reports I've read indicate that forbearance will not harm the individual's credit. While technically this is true, it's also very misleading because they didn't finish the sentence. Um, it's correct that the servicer, the, the uh, company that you make your mortgage payment to, cannot report to the repositories, that's Equifax, TransUnion, Experian, um, that you've made any mortgage payments late. So the actual credit score, yes, will remain intact without or be unaffected. However, um, what will be reported on the actual trade line in the credit report is the word forbearance. It'll say specifically forbearance or deferment that'll be listed there. Now I can confirm for you guys uh, for at least three of the biggest national services or servicers and lenders out there, uh, they have already started to rewrite guidelines to disqualify any individual that has participated in forbearance from any conventional lending going forward for up to 24 months past the forbearance. Um, so if you're considering this, be sure to weigh that consequence because it's a big one. It's also worth noting that depending on the scale of the loss that these forbearances will ultimately cause, the mortgage industry as a whole will be forced to amend existing guidelines to protect against future incidents, uh, which means basically qualifying in the future will look different. And in specific terms, it means that the reserve requirement probably for investors is going to increase considerably to what it looks like today. Um, ultimately, ladies, uh, even though the feds have kind of made this option available to literally anyone with a mortgage. Um, zero proof of, of hardship is required, which in and of itself is an entirely different conversation. Uh, I believe, and I think it's pretty clear, it should really only be reserved and used for those individuals that uh, desperately need such assistance. Lastly, I wanted to offer a few thoughts on what you can do if your tenants are unable to make rent, leaving you all holding that bag of the mortgage payment. Um, find out if they've applied for unemployment. As crazy as this sounds, a lot of people are not familiar with that with what that process is. Uh, and if they haven't, maybe create, figure out in the state in which the property is located, create an outline, give them the resources, tell them what the website is that they can go to if there's a field office or somewhere near where they live that they could potentially go in and, and file the claim if that's an option right now. Um, also, you might suggest the industries that are heavily hiring Right? If they're temporary, un temporarily unemployed, you've got uh, uh, delivery, you've got warehouse fulfillment, grocery. If that's an option, maybe they could uh, help look at, at getting them reemployed for a period of time. And then lastly, uh, obviously, and, and most of you probably already considered this, figuring out what kind of partial rent payment can be made in the interim. Um, that's it. I'm glad that I got an opportunity to talk to, talk to you guys all today and share some of this insight. Thanks again, Deb and Jen, for allowing me to participate. I feel very proud to be a part of this group of, of amazing women and um, share what information I have. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening.